Hey guys, Dr. Lola, and I'm out of town again. I'm sitting here in my hotel room with my drink. Oh, and it's really cool to, like, I use socks as, like, koozies. I know, it's so weird, but they're clean. So I have gone around the hotel with my desanitizer napkins. I have unpacked, and I've done everything I was supposed to do. So I really wanted to record something about C Nation Murphy. Keith Allen, he plays the Majestic Murphy. Murphy, Murphy, Murphy. Murphy. And that's what we're going to talk about. So don't shut me down. Stay around. I hope that you guys will tune in for the talks on Z Nation. Z Nation is a really good show. We just love Z Nation in our household. Like uh, Dan the Zombie Man said, Z Nation is like Jimi Hendrix. It's off the chain. Whee! Off the chain! did like an intro to Z Nation, but I want to start doing um, talks about the characters. So today's uh, Keith Allen, the Murph. Um, so he committed a crime and he was put into prison. I think that it's safe to say that uh, he was in there for a while. So long that they decided to use him as a experiment participant against his will. Um, so we can assume maybe he was on death row because I don't think that they would be able to force him to do the experiment unless he was on death row, but I'm not sure about that. I don't think they uh, talked about that. Um, and he, so he was like a prisoner and he was injected with the virus and of course the virus misses with his DNA and he gets bitten like eight times and he survives. So in the beginning of Murphy, you know, he's got this trauma reaction to being bitten by all these zombies and he's deathly afraid. So you can see throughout the first season that he has these fight or flight reactions where he's like panicking and he's got to escape and um, he's just like freaking out. So he's not a fighter. Um, he's not really a survivor. He probably has antisocial personality disorder, being that he was in prison, he committed a crime. He's very egocentric. He lacks empathy. He does not um, connect well to others unless he can use them for a purpose. He's very manipulative. And that's all, you can see that in the beginning. But as he evolves, he evolves socially and he also evolves physically. On the social part, so he starts moving away from being uh, so antisocial. And by antisocial, I don't mean asocial. Asocial is where you don't really blend in well with other people. You don't connect socially. You might feel a little awkward or standoffish. Antisocial is an actual personality disorder, which I just like described a few minutes ago. So he kind of moves away from that. Like on that level, he does manipulate and he does try to escape. And remember, Murphy's been a prisoner. So he's basically gone from a prisoner at the prison and then he was a prisoner with these people, various people who are trying to take him to the CDC. So he's been a prisoner for a while. He hasn't been in control of his own life for quite a while. So yes, he does try to escape. He tries to manipulate. He is uh, defensive, he is secretive, but also he, he's not empathetic and he has no real connection. His connections are superficial. But that starts to change in two ways. He starts getting closer over the first season and second season. Um, he starts having a connection more than what is superficial. Murphy also has been sharing more stuff about himself, um, like his first name is Alvin and he's been connecting more with the other survivors and he starts um, caring for them but not in a in a way that is open and that you can easily identify it's sort of in a passive way like lieutenant warren you know when he went on that boat he was talking to lieutenant warren and although it was kind of smirky or smirkety um you could tell that he really uh, cared for her or was starting to care for her. The other way that Murphy over the course of the two years has evolved is physically. 
in the beginning, you know, we noticed certain changes in him. He lost his teeth, he lost his hair, um, but also other changes. The virus actually is mixing with his DNA and he's starting to become like a Zom man. Zom man? So he starts having kind of a connection with the zombies and this is what's happened is that he was terrified of the zombies and then he started it was in where that storm was the the episode where the storm was he, the zombie was in the basement and he started noticing its humanity or questioning whether it was human part of that process is trying to figure out what he's turning into what's happening to him and so he started experiencing some empathy and I think he actually experienced empathy for the zombies before he experienced empathy for his captures. Kind of had some empathy for Cassandra and he bit her on the cheek to try to save her and that probably was his first real connection. And remember he created Cassandra. She's the first zombie person hybrid that he created. Um, and he did that to save her, but he didn't really know what the outcome was. So there's a really deep connection and a sense of caring there. He started having um, control over the zombies. So in the beginning, they were just something to toy with and to play with and to control as far as make them dress weird, make them kiss each other, um, really wacky stuff. You know, he's having fun with it. He's playing with it. He has this newfound ability. And hey, since he's already metamorphosizing, ooh, I said the word. I always get tongue tied with that word. Since he's changing, you know, he might as well have some fun with it. But he starts really having some care for these zombies, as evidenced by like um, when they were in the plane, they were flying on the vodka, and uh, the plane went down. And anyway, she turned into a zombie. I mean, he did not mercy her. And he kind of like shoot her away to go live somewhere on her own. He sees them more as zombies. He sees still some humanity in them. So the character of Murphy played by Keith Allen, who I really like Keith Allen. You really enjoy his portrayal of the character. And we almost lost the Murph. I don't know if you know Keith Allen. There was something going on with his contract, uh, but he is coming back. For the third season so I'm very happy about that. So Murphy has this interlude with one of the ladies from the Mercy Sisterhood camp and um, she gets pregnant and the pregnancy is accelerated of course and we wind up with this the zombie baby and Murphy shows a lot of care and concern for his baby and actually for the mother. I don't know if you guys remember but Serena sacrificed herself to save her daughter. And I really think that Murphy cared for Serena. That pretty much continues the evolution of his connection to other humans. I'm not so sure he connected so well before his incarceration or even during. So it's really changed his life that he's been bitten by these zombies. And um, now he's started off as a cold, manipulative, um, hardcore um egotistical person and now he's starting to have feelings for people and for the zombies and he's got this child who is half human and half zombie and so he has to protect her and he does he takes her to this uh, farmhouse and he actually bites the people there what he's doing is kind of giving them a different form of the virus where they become like zom humans. You know, maybe they didn't think they were getting inoculated. Maybe um, he bit them so that he could control them and make them uh, take care of his daughter. So, you know, Murphy had a choice. He really demonstrated that he cared for both his daughter and the group because the reason why he took Lucy um, to that cabin outside Illinois was because he was worried about her safety. The other group members they were starting to notice that she was different and she was um, somewhat zombie-like. Um, so she like has a like, you know, zombie skin and these really pretty but unusual eyes. You know, not only did the pregnancy go fast, but um, in the series when we saw 
Lucy again after Murphy left her, Daddy Murphy left her. Um, she was like a toddler or a preschooler. Yeah, not a toddler. She was like a preschooler, which means her growth rates accelerated. So we might actually come into season three with like a teenager or something. And my guess is they will connect again. Because if you remember when Serena was pregnant and she was looking for the Murph, um, the baby's daddy, she was asking the unborn baby to point to the direction to where her daddy was. And in the belly, you saw this like little movement of a little hand pointing to the direction and that's where Serena went to find Murphy. So it's very possible she's going to be older and she's going to be able to sense where he is and to find him. Lucy Murphy, the world is ready. Bring it on. And so instead of like killing them all or fleeing with her, he didn't do that. He took her to a safe place and the other group members um, in respect kind of uh, didn't ask, no tell type of thing. Um, they didn't pursue Lucy to harm her in any way. And he was in a bind. It was the daughter versus this group. And again, I think that he is starting to connect emotionally to the group and um, did not want to harm them or leave them in any way. Plus, he's also realizing that he's changing so much and maybe the people could help him um, the CDC or anything but of course we find out at the end um, of season two that it, things aren't always as they appear to be and that once again um, wrong place wrong time and no cure in sight well, I think a lot of people judged Murphy too harshly they think that um, you know some of the decision he makes isn't good but again, that could be part of his personality characteristics, but that also could be in reaction of trying to survive. Remember these people got him um, and they're not really, they're protecting him, but they're not protecting him because he's their friend or family or for any other reason than he is um, a mission. He is to be delivered to the CDC. He is a package. They are in charge of his safety until they deliver him. So some of his decisions could even be kind of justified. I think Keith Allen is doing an excellent job. I'm so glad he's staying around to be our Murphy. And season three is coming up in September. We don't have an exact date yet, uh, but there should be really good things on the horizon. I think that Lucy's gonna come back uh, a lot older and is gonna find Murphy and that Murphy's gonna continue his connection with the zombies, um, trying to see how far he can go and I'm sure they're gonna progress his evolution a bit more although I don't know where they can take it um, but that's up to the writers you know they're very creative and I really love the dark humor that they bring to the zombie genre uh, that's all I got right now all right Zomhead oh we've got some unboxings to do I've got another video coming up on the trailer of The Walking Dead I want to talk about that and um, so it's going to be like a busy week and weekend. Leave your comments below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Blah. Subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Alright guys, I will talk to you later and I'll see you soon.